Hello, and welcome to <laughs> session five of the Miracle of Mercy. In this week's video, we are going to talk about what it means to be a peacemaker. Mm. You know, most of the time when we think about peace, we think of what it means to keep the peace, right? But when we look at scripture, we see the Bible talking about peace makers, yeah. okay? Which is a much different concept. Peacemakers are active. They're on the move, they face conflict head on, and they live a life like Jesus did. Uh, let me tell you something. I'm a husband, I'm a dad, I'm a pastor. I know what the Bible says, okay? But so many times, I would much rather not face a conflict head on. I'm just gonna be on, uh, honest. Yeah. I'm a conflict avoider, okay? I'd rather it just kind of resolve itself, push it under the rug, whatever. I'd rather not have the difficult conversation. And the easy way out would make me feel so much better. But I love the truth that Pastor Rick walks us through this week. It's not easy truth, but it's what my heart needs. Speaking of peacemakers, do you know one thing peacemakers do? Mm. They choose a mercy project. Yep. It's true. No matter what campus you attend, we have a mercy project for you and your group. Have you guys decided what you're going to do together? If you haven't, stop this video, like right now. Yes. <laughs> Get out your phone, your iPad, yeah. your tablet, your computer, and ho head over to saddleback.com backslash mercy project right now. Right now. Right now. Seriously, go right now. The pause button w works. As you're learning to trust and grow and face your fears by being actively filled with mercy with your group, as you're learning to build these healthy relationships, it's mm. going to be important to get to really know each other. One way to get to know the members of your group is to just spend time together outside, mm. before, after your meeting. A simple way to do this is to have a meal together. Mm. We know Amen. You Preach enjoy it. Food. Yes. Simply yes. Ask for a Invite me here to coordinate the group calendar, create a schedule for different food members to bring different group members to bring the food. Different members of food. Yes. Plan these times together often. And remember that the most important thing about these activities is to simply just have fun. Fellowship. You know, in this week's discussion time, some issues may, you know, sort of bubble up. Uh, we're asking people to take an active role in seeking out peace when they've been wronged. And this can be so difficult. As you're encouraging people to take faith risks, you're gonna wanna be sure to work hard to create an environment of safety so that people feel the freedom to be open and honest. This is a good time to review the small group guidelines you looked at earlier and remind your members about confidentiality and gossip. You may already be doing well in these areas, but it's always a great idea to review these things from time to time. Sure. You'll notice every week we include a resource for you and for your group in the before you go section of the study. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect time to select your new study. Yep. If your group is new, we want to encourage you to move right into the small group quick start to we mm. curriculum from Pastor Rick. It's hard to say. Quick start <clears throat> to we curriculum. It yeah. was. <laughs> you can get the videos, the study guide, the download for free right on mysaddleback.com. Mm -hmm. Or just touch base with your community leader or small group pastor, and they'll be happy to supply your group with a DVD. We also recommend a great study called God's Design oh, for Your Life. Love that one. This is a series of six studies that get your group um, on the same page. It is free, and mm. it's at mysaddleback.com as well. I can afford free. Yes, you can. We additionally have a vast library of other studies at My Saddleback that you can browse, find one just right for your group. Your community leader will also have great suggestions if by chance you're stuck. Mm -hmm. You know, and on behalf of Pastor Rick and the rest of us at Saddleback Church, guys, thanks so much for hosting your group. Your faithfulness is making a difference in the lives of each person in your group. We'll see you guys next time.